I mean, yeah, it's it's easy to be motivating and positive when everything's good, you know? Uh, when you're not in the fight or the struggle or whatever the person you follow on Instagram with 500 plus K followers is calling it at the moment, as they showcase to you what would seem to be a perfect life or perfect body. Sure, yeah, it's easy to tell someone else, don't give up or keep going with a rehash motivational meme. <laughs> Uh, but that's not me, and honestly, it, it can't be, at least not right now, because that's not where I'm at. See, where I'm at is a place that most of those highly motivating and encouraging people with 500 plus K followers wouldn't even bother coming through. Maybe it's due to us setting records for the murder capital of our country several times. Flint police are looking for a motive after two people are shot execution style. And then my nephew fucked around and said, I got you, and he pulled the goddamn trigger. Shot dude, killed dude, you know. You did something wrong to me. Now I gotta get you back. I don't care who you're from, uh, where you at. That's just the mentality here, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's the murder The murder mitten, yeah, they call it the murder yeah, mitten. murder mitten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michigan shaped like a mitten. Then they kill your ass in a minute. It's just so smart because you, you can't yeah, yeah. My friend got shot in front of me on my porch. You ever see, you see that happen, you be like, like, oh shit, it's a body in front of me. It's bleeding. You don't know what to do. If you get robbed in Flint, you got a 50% chance to get killed. Because you don't got nothing in your pockets. You just wasted my time, my life, so I gotta shoot you if I don't shoot you. 66 people were killed in Flint last year, tying a record set two years earlier. But tonight, there's an unusual twist to the story. Matthew Dwayne Williams was shot at a Flint gas station last November, but died of his injuries earlier this month. And that makes him now the city's record-breaking 67. Or maybe it's due to the poisonous drinking water. Uh, in Flint, Mothers and fathers and grandmothers and grandfathers told us directly about the skin rashes they had themselves and that they found on their kids. They were sure those were caused by the bad water because they'd never had them before. They told us about the everyday physical job of searching for drinkable water for themselves and their families. Or maybe it's because you can't drive more than half a block without seeing the remnants of a structure fire from days past or houses that you would bet your bottom dollar no one could possibly live in but do. This place I'm in is filled with cynical and desperate individuals. It's hard to blame them for that. Amongst all the dense negativity, I saw a woman leaving a grocery store the other day, pushing a shopping cart with a different name of the store she just left. She's pushing it home. The look on her face is a reflection of the city and most of its residents. Broken. However, at the front of the shopping cart is a little girl. She's a... Uh, Bouncing up and down as she helps, you know, pull the shopping cart home. Never seen a more happier kid. This moment was a physical manifestation of the phrase, it's all relative. What's the point? There are places like this place all over the world. Maybe worse. We don't always get to decide our current circumstances, but we can decide whether they break us or make us.